guys, so it's the end of July and that means it is time for another monthly favorites and I'm a little bit sad that July is coming to an end because July 2015 will always be one of my favorite months of my entire life because this is the month that I got engaged and it's just a little bit sad to be seeing it end but at the same time like the happiness isn't ending so August will be really good too. But I have lots of favorites so I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to start with beauty and then I also have some lifestyle and like TV shows and books and all that stuff. So the very first beauty favorite I have, I'm a little bit late on the bandwagon. I cannot believe I didn't try this sooner. But this is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter. I know, like how did I not try this before now? Because first of all, I love highlighters. I just have a lot of highlighters that I really like and I didn't think this one was gonna be like that much better than those. It is. This is incredible. I got it at Sephora. I don't know if it's a Sephora exclusive. It is so good. I'm gonna put a little bit on. I have a bunch on already, but I don't know if you can tell on camera. I'm just gonna use my next favorite which I'll get to in a second. I should be using a fan brush for this, but I don't have one right next to me, and I have this. Will you stop climbing all over the char? I can hear your little claws. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the champagne pop. If you're a highlighter person, you need to try it. Go into a Sephora. I don't know if they have testers, but check it out. It is so good. It is so good. Like, I'm gonna buy a backup, and I have this new rule where I don't buy backups, but this one is going to get a backup. That's how much I love it. I have my three metallic Real Techniques brushes. I got these at Ulta, and they're actually really expensive for like a drugstore brush. I know Real Techniques is really good quality, but normally their brushes are also at a really good price, and these were like $25 each, I wanna say. They're dirty because I used them today, so let's just ignore that, but they are so pretty and so good. They're weighted, so they feel like really expensive expensive in your hands. This one is number 301 and it is just a little flat top brush that I use as highlight, contour. You can do lots of different things with this. I really like it. This is the 300 blush brush that I've been using for my blush, which actually, you know what? It does not look like I have any blush on today, actually. I might have forgot. This is the powder brush. It's number 100 and I use this to set my face. I love these brushes. They're very, very soft. I think they're great quality and I'm really, really down with these. I love them so much. And they make me happy to look at. Like when I go to reach for one, I'm like, that is so pretty. Next favorite is by Soap and Glory. These smell so good. These are my favorite smelling Soap and Glory products I've ever tried. They're brand new to me. I've only had them about a week, so I've only used them a week's worth of days, but they are already hands down a favorite. I'm obsessed with them. This is the Rich and Fomus shower and bath body wash and this is the smoothie star body milk these both have a almond oats and brown sugar scent and they smell so good they smell like almonds milk and sugar which is what i just said oh they smell so good it's a really kind of light fragrance it's not very overpowering i've had some other soap and glory products that I also loved the smell of, but I didn't love it as much as this. Like the Sugar Crush, I think it's called, um, just is a little bit too much for me sometimes, whereas this I feel like would be perfect all the time. I don't think it's a scent that I will get tired of. I am obsessed with these, I love it. The Rich and Foamus like foams up so well on your loofah. It just feels so luxurious and moisturizing and like I feel like I'm gonna use this for the rest of my life. That is how much I love it. They also have a matching um, shower exfoliator in the same scent line that I am going to try next because I am just like, I love this so much. They also have a body butter. I feel like I need to just expand my line in this because they smell amazing and their products are really good and the packaging is cute and oh, I just love Soap and Glory so much. Next favorite is my, this is really like dirty and gross looking so just ignore it because I use it a lot. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle which I've talked about the concealer like a bajillion times but this is the neutralizer and I wear this underneath my concealer. It's like a yellow, I'll show you, it's like yellow. Can you even see that? That looks so similar to my skin tone, but I mean, that's the point. It's not supposed to like look insane, but it's basically like a yellow tone that neutralizes your under eyes before you put your concealer on top. And I've been loving it. I love the way it feels. I love the way it makes my concealer go on top. Then my last beauty favorites are the lip combination that I'm wearing and it might have worn off a little bit because I had some coffee, but this is the NYX Butter Lipstick in Snow Cap. This is a beautiful your lips but better color it's neutral but i honestly feel like it looks almost like my exact lip color 
but just a little bit more amplified, which is a great like everyday color. I love this so much. And then on top of it, I used a new NYX Butter Gloss. This is in Fortune Cookie. And actually I got this because of the name, which might sound really weird, but Alex and I have a thing with Fortune Cookies. And plus, I'm just a big fan of NYX lip glosses in general. I feel like they always smell really good. They're always really pigmented. They go on really smoothly and they're not very expensive. So I just love these in general, but this one smells like vanilla. So it smells very different than their other lip gloss line, which has like a really sweet, kind of like sweet tart cherry scent, which I really love, but I know a lot of people don't. This one's vanilla. It is just, it's a beautiful new gloss. I love it and it's not very expensive. So that was all of my beauty favorites. Moving on to Everything else lifestyle favorites my book favorite of the month is on my audible app and guys Okay, if you are a fan of the bachelor franchise Which the finale like just happened and then bachelor in paradise 2 is about to start I love this series and I think I've gotten more into it recently because Alex has gotten into it And so we watch it together and we like talk about it and stuff But I decided to finally I've been wanting to read this forever and I just I don't know I keep forgetting about it, but I saw it on the audible website I was like searching for something new and it is called I Didn't Come Here to Make Friends by Courtney Robertson. Now she is the villain that won Ben season and I don't know if you watched Ben season but she was so dislikable. Like she actually reminded me of like, I think a lot of people were calling her Black Widow and she like, I did not like her at all on the season. She basically wrote a book where she talks about everything behind the scenes Bachelor. Like, I obviously haven't finished it, I'm listening to it now, but I love it because she goes into every detail. In fact, I was reading some reviews on it and they were saying that she goes into too much detail. Like, a lot of people were like, I didn't need to know every single thing. I'm like, I wanna know every single thing. I think that is so, so cool. I did have a friend go on the um, franchise, Sammy, she was on um, Christmas season and she's also gonna be on Bachelor in Paradise too. She was in my live stream if you guys watched um, on my second channel and also she came to visit us in Florida like right after I got engaged so she's super super sweet and so I can ask her questions but it's still like I, I don't know I feel like it's really really cool to read a book that from someone who won the franchise you know from someone who was there the entire time and knows the ins and outs of everything I have been seriously loving listening to this book and if you guys want to listen to it for free or any other book you can go to audible.com slash L and your first book is completely free Guys, I seriously feel like everyone needs to try the Audible app because even if you don't think that you're gonna be into audiobooks, you will find yourself listening to books during things that you wouldn't normally have time to read, like when you're getting ready or when you're on a car trip or riding on a plane. Like, I just love it and I did not think that I was gonna be a huge audiobook fan. Like, I've never been someone who's like rented books on tapes at like Cracker Barrels, my mom always does that. But this app is amazing. You can get your books instantly. It, it's so, so good. So if you're interested, audible.com slash L. And they also have my books on there. So it's Beneath the Glitter by Ellen Blair Fowler. They have that on there, which I think is so, so cool because if you can't find the book, it's a way for you to get it and you can get it for free. So I'll have that below. But anyway, hugely recommend this book and I'm going to do a glitterature on it when I'm done with it. This is the Sony a5100 I think why does it not say it on here I love this because it flips up so you can see yourself when you're vlogging which a lot of vlogging cameras don't do although there is a new Canon one that does that but I actually didn't even know about the Canon one when I bought this one so I bought this specifically because it had a flip up lens and you can make sure that you're in frame and you're focused and all that stuff which is something that really bothered me with vlogging before on my other vlogging camera plus it has a lens that you can take off and like change up and it's just such a good lens like i love this thing it is a little bit heavy it got a little bit it took me a little bit to get used to it oops I've gotten used to it i love it i think it's like super good quality and it's still compact enough that it fits in your purse like even my rebecca minkoff mini max this fits in along with everything else but it's still like a substantial camera like i just i love this so much i cannot say better things about it my last favorite is going to be my tv show favorite which is easy and it is hand Hands down, Big Brother. Can we just talk about Big Brother for a second? OMG, double HKP, I am obsessed. My favorite character is Johnny Mac. I think he is hilarious. He's terrifying. The fact that he's a dentist in real life is absolutely terrifying because he, okay, I feel like 
he needs to be the voice of a cartoon character like as his job as his career path because he has the voice of like a muppet or like just any cartoon that you can think of there's a character that sounds like him and you think where did they find these voice actors that can like make these just insane voices like i don't know who he is what he is like i don't know the fact that he's a dentist is traumatizing like can you imagine if he was like in charge of taking your wisdom teeth out that is so scary i don't know he he is like my favorite though and that was all of my monthly favorites i feel like i could list 20 more favorites but i probably should limit it oh my gosh i seriously almost forgot to talk about this i was sitting down to edit and i realized i had forgotten so i sat back down so i'm back hi um the giveaway the june bloom giveaway okay so the deal with that is everything will be up within one week in terms of how you enter and all of that good good stuff i know that it's been way too long because june ended in june and it's now the end of july but it was a crazy month and also i had this idea that i wanted to do that was like an extra thing um that i just didn't have a chance to film because there was a lot of other videos i was filming and also i got engaged and also there was a lot of traveling this month so i feel like I might just not do the extra part that I wanted to do at this point just to get the giveaway up. Um, I mean the entry thing up, but I might just still do it. I don't know. Within one week, it will all be up and you guys will be, you know, able to enter your secret sentence. I know you guys have been holding on for that and all of the giveaway winners will be picked. So I haven't forgotten or anything like that. It just, whoa, that's me this month. Woo. -hoo. So, uh, yeah. And without further ado, now I'm going to say goodbye for real. I love you, bye.